What's up guys, Graham here, wanting to bring you guys another guide, and this time it's about planar attunement for PvP. This is probably not going to be the best device if you're wanting to use it for PvE, so this is PvP oriented, and just use it for that. Alright, this video idea was presented to me by Evgeny Denisov, I believe that's how you say his name pretty hard to pronounce but hopefully I got it right but let's jump right into it no fiddling about let's go right into the planar attunement okay now there's a couple different ways that you can do this but I am going to tell you what my recommendation is my recommendation is your line of priority should I say is the attunement of war this is your main tree this is your PvP tree that's going to help you out tremendously but there is something else that you can do before you go into this tree very much you can go to each one of these uh, other trees and put one point into the center one and then one point into increasing your planar charges this will increase your maximum planar charges up here and you do not want to be running around with just three max planar charges because you'll use those up extremely fast and you won't be able to use a lot of your buffs uh, such as your guild buffs like planar, uh, planar protection and stuff like that I like to use uh, charges on honed edge as well so once you start getting all these planar buffs and stuff you'll be using those planar charges quite a bit and you want as much as you can in your max capacity so you can fill it up and use them up for a while and every tree has it to where you can put one point in and then a uh, point into increasing planar charges as you can see every one of them has it so after you do that you want to go into the war tree and boost this up as much as possible because this will help your survivability it'll help you kill players it'll just make you so much better of a PvPer because your stats will be sky high compared to what they were before uh, this will increase your crit power and of course planar charges increase your main stat for your class as well as valor vengeance all that stuff it'll just help you out tremendously so fill this up as much as possible and also to give you a planar ability of bloodthirsty so yeah focus on that all right number two priority after you do this now i I'm going to say that endurance is very very important early on in PvP. It's important later on but it's more important early on because your survivability will be very low. If not only will you die fast having like 20,000 HP but you'll also be a target for people. Whenever I tab target or click on somebody and I see they're at 20,000 HP max I'm sticking on that person because I know they are going to die at my hand. So you do not want to be one of those people that's real low HP max and be a target for everybody else. So endurance is going to be your next focus. Now you might ask yourself why not go into endurance trees instead of the war tree. Well the war tree provides uh, valor which valor decreases the amount of damage that you take versus players so it's just as good of, uh, as endurance if not better so make sure that you fill up your war tree and then you want to start prioritizing uh, endurance trees and your two main survivability trees is earth and life so these both have a lot of areas that provide endurance as well as resistances and stuff like that so put points into these early on it, you're not going to be putting points into your killing stuff such as the fire tree and death tree but you're going to be surviving and the more that you are alive the more damage you're going to be doing you might think that you need to kill players but in rea reality you need to stay alive and then you can kill players so yeah all right go into earth tree and life tree and fill up all your endurance stuff okay 
Now you might be asking yourself what to go to next. Well, the next thing that you want to go to is your offensive trees, such as if you are a rogue or anything like that, you probably will be going into the air and water specs. But for my particular class, it's fire and death which you want to put points into the ones that will increase your attack power for the weapon that you are using and such as if i'm using a two-handed weapon there will be uh, spots where it says that it will increase my attack power for two-handed weapons yeah right there increases attack power by four while wielding a two-handed weapon so if I'm using a two-handed weapon, this is where I'm wanting to put my points into is into these areas. If I'm using a one-handed weapon, of course you want to go into the ones that, such as this one, increases attack power by four while wielding a sword or dagger. So yeah, just put it into the weapon that you prefer and pretty much avoid the other ones that you're not using, of course, because they're not going to help you out much. And that will also determine if you have a lot of points in the planar attunement already and you question whether you should use a two-handed weapon or a one hand or two one-handers well this is your answer if you've got more points into uh, the two-handed specs then that's what you want to use on your character because the two different uh, play styles such as two-handed weapon and two one-handers the damage is not very different uh, if different at all I believe they are both about the same and by everybody that's been running test it is the same so yeah just use whatever weapon you have planar attunement into so yeah okay you want to get your planar charges up priority number one number two fill up your war tree Go all the way up to tier 3, fill it all up, don't worry about anything else, we're just going to keep this basic. Number 3, start going into endurance. So all of your endurance trees, such as your earth and life tree, fill up all the endurance that you can because your survivability is priority number 1, especially early on. So, and then once you've gotten your endurance high, you've uh, probably ruined out your stuff as well in endurance. You want to start killing people a little bit better and that's whenever you start focusing into your offensive trees. And for whatever class you are, it will be different trees, such as for warrior here, it will be fire and death. For rogue, it's probably gonna be air and water. So, yeah, just, fish about and see where your damage is best on which tree all right guys i hope you enjoyed this guide if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up give it hit that like button it helps so much and be sure to be subscribed and as usual my name is Grim, and i'll see you tomorrow